And here we go. All right. Um, in this problem, it says a group of 25 students, 16 are female. What is the percentage of the group um, that are female? Now, ladies and gentlemen, this goes, yes? Oh, no, I was just going to answer Oh, OK. What'd you get? Okay, um, not bad. Let me just go and show you what we have gone over based on this. Because if you guys remember, Danielle, from our test, we actually showed, we actually went over how to solve exactly this problem. So the way that we solve this problem is, again, it says in a group of 25 students, 16 are female. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, the equation that we wrote was part over whole is equal to the part percentage over 100%. This was the proportion that, I, that we went over, reviewed, and was also back in the, on the test. So we look at, well, what is our part? Well, our part is going to be 16 females out of what is the total? 25. So when you look at exactly what you did, Tiara, you did exactly what you were supposed to do. I'm just showing it in a kind of a different format. Because yes, yeah, 16 divided by 25. And then we do not know the percentage over 100. So rather than doing 16 divided by 25 and then times it by 100, which would be the exact same thing, you could simply just divide these and then multiply by 100 and you'd get what your percent is. The other way to do this is to apply the proportion or the cross product. So therefore, I have 1,600 is equal to 25x percent. Then I just divide by 25%, and I get 64% equals x. Does that make sense? OK. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, was, I, I apologize. I forgot to bring home my.